Hi everyone, welcome back to our Pacific Northwest adventure. I think we're finally on the tail end of the trip and we've seen and done a lot. We've seen a lot of the modern boats that frequent these waters. We did a lot of cruising, a little bit of moped action at one point. And we even learned about some of our tribal roots here that really run deep through these waters. We can't put together a Pacific Northwest themed issue and not come to the Port Townsend shipwrights. And Dan, there's a lot of beautiful wooden boats being restored here, perhaps none more famous than the boat we're standing on right now, which is the Western Flyer. It's gotta be. Built in 1937 in Tacoma. This boat is wildly known as the boat that John Steinbeck took mm -hmm. with a crew of marine biologists down to Sea of Cortez. And uh, he actually produced uh, a book following the, that adventure. And um, you know this boat's seen a lot in its life. It's uh, if this if this boat could talk, I tell you what, no boat more legendary, and and no editor more legendary. Than <laughs> Look who it is, gentlemen. Jeff, how are you, you doing? doing here? We've been waiting for you. Hey guys, I hate to you know I hate to say a Nobel Prize winning writer is wrong, but he did say in the Pearl that a wounded boat does not heal. You can see right here that his boat, the Western Flyer, is undergoing a massive restoration. Oh, well said. You, you've been reading a novel in there? <laughs> I was, well, I was in the sardine hold, which is going to become a laboratory. Unbelievable. And, so you must know a lot about this boat. What, what can we expect out of the Western Flyer? This is going to be a full research vessel. It's going to be pretty incredible. Um, going to have all electric propulsion. Uh, the engines were once forward. They'll be all the way back. It'll have a crew of about six to ten and it's also going to have a submersible as well which is going to be raised on a on a on like a mast this guy's in the davit it's going to be a pretty incredible project but it's going to be a pure research vessel for, for kids and it's going to be based in monterey california where steinbach's original adventure began and i heard that they're kind of imbuing it with a lot of the old soul right they're not completely shedding the old vessel and replacing it this is uh, this yeah. saving a lot of, of what they can. They are, they are. You know, these are master shipwrights here in Port Townsend, and they're taking this very slowly. This restoration has been going on for a couple of years now, and it's slated to launch late 2020. Mm -hmm. um, looking at what we're seeing here, I don't know how they're going to make it because it just looks like a massive project, but. They say they're going to do it. I think they're going to do it. Hey, we wish them the best. I yeah. Tell you, what really is one thing that's amazing is again what you said is that combination that old meets new. I mean, they were talking about electric propulsion in one sentence, and the next they they're really they're manually pumping linseed oil back into the fur, putting oil back into these wood beams. I mean, yeah. what a yeah. project. Yeah. I was down there and the original Douglas fir keel is still intact. It's a pretty incredible sight to look at. These, this was, you know, a tree that was probably 80 to 90 feet tall, perfectly straight that they used for the original keel. That's crazy. Well, we really look forward to that feature yeah. and many others in our Pacific Northwest issue. So stay tuned for that and all our updates at pmymag.com. Jeff, you must be itching to get some food or drink. Oh, you yeah, might, you might want to get that story finished first. I've been a little while. Been a while. I mean, this, remember guys, this boat sank twice or maybe three times and it's been raised. So like that, I've been raised from the, the ground here. Oh, I'm right. ready to eat. Let's, Let's do it. Let's nice do it. Steinbeck. Let's get some lunch. <laughs> okay.